another episode of Let's Get Spooky. I'm Leanna Vamp. I'm AJ. And I'm Ashley. And today we uh, have our special guest, AJ, with us. Uh, so we're going to start off with talking about some of your firsts to get to know you a little bit better. Um, we're basically going to interrogate you for the yeah, first no maybe pressure. 20 minutes. <laughs> Waterboarding at some point, <laughs> yeah. you know, just the simple stuff. So the fans can find out a little bit more about you. And then we'll get into our topic, which is called Down the Rabbit Hole. So essentially all of us went Weird on the shit. internet. <laughs> Weird shit. We went down the rabbit hole and we have some great stories to share with you guys. But to start it off, um, we are going to talk to AJ about your first. So what was your very first horror flick or horror show? I guess it could be a show or a movie. Um, so I don't, I don't like, like when I think back on like my childhood and stuff, I don't really have like vivid memories of like my first this or like, like, you know, I just have like little every now and then just memories of things. So like the story that comes to my head is like, I remember in middle school, maybe um, I had a friend named Lillian and like, we would always go to Blockbuster just dating myself. Yeah, um, <laughs> That's why your hair is blue. You're like, in yeah. the too. <laughs> um, and we would go to the horror movie section and we would be like, what are we going to watch this weekend? And we would, I just remember one of our favorites was Nightmare on Elm Street. And we would just like watch it on repeat and stay up. Were you afraid? Past. No. Really? How old were you? So middle school. So you're like 10, 11? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. I, I think mean, that's I was when you're exploring bad. more like what is out in the world. And, yeah. And, and I think I was, I just was like, I'm just going to play it cool. I'm not scared. And then I think that kind of helped me guard myself from actually being scared. Yeah. See, Maybe. I, I feel like if I, I think my first horror movie, I think it was like seven or eight, The Exorcist. And I was mm. That's terrified. young. Yeah. But that's not really like, horror. think like eight to 10. That's not really like a huge difference. Mm. And I was afraid. I was 14 when I watched mine. You were afraid though too. But I, well, no, cause it was Chucky. Oh, well, but I don't like kids. So it was scary in a different way. I was just like, well, I don't like you, you two foot demon. <laughs> I mean, I feel You're like so small. You know, <laughs> middle too small, school too age, small, too small. We don't you do were you. brave because I feel like at that age, I was even being a fan of horror that young, I was still afraid. Like mm -hmm. if I, if Nightmare on Elm Street was my first horror film going to bed at night, mm -hmm. I probably would have had nightmares. Yeah. I don't, I, I don't know what it is, but I never had that kind of reaction to horror movies. Like I remember this was earlier than, I don't remember what age, but we went on a family trip to the lake and we watched Jaws and my brother got so scared that he was scared to go to the lake the next day. Cause he's like, Jaws is going to get me. And I'm like, it's a lake. There's no sharks. Like, but how do you know there's no would, sharks in the lake? That's because there could be they sharks just, in your pool. Very true. Yeah, was, yeah. I used to very do that. True, very true. No, I'd be like, there can't be one bug if there's a fly and a mosquito. I'm like, I'm not going in there. Or when you're, they like, would turn the light off. It was clear off. as day, mm -hmm. but if I was like, light, it might yep. pop up a shark. I don't know. Maybe. So I maybe. think you're just superhuman. You're not afraid of anything because I was terrified oh, of I'm everything. A, I'm scared of a lot of stuff, but for some reason, when it's on, I, I don't know if maybe it's like that separation because it's on the screen. Yeah. I don't get it. What are you afraid of? What is the first thing that you would say that actually you would say is an actual fear. Shoot. If um, it's caterpillars, I won't feel dumb anymore. <laughs> no. If it's caterpillars, Ashley's Sorry, leaving. It's not cat <laughs> Damn it. There's like things that like ick me, like, or I get, like, oh, it's icky. Like I hate spiders. Like, like, you know, when you see a spider, you get that sensation. They're where on you. Like yeah. they're on you. And then it's, that always gets me. Um, so more like real life bugs, like creepy crawly kind yeah, of things. Yeah, creepy crawly things. Those, those get under my skin and like even just talking about now, I just want to like do that kind of motion. Where so you the just giant feel. spider on the couch behind you is probably shouldn't, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, I feel with canned tuna, so I get it. I'm just like. Mm. Um, what about your, do you remember your very first Halloween costume? Um, I don't remember, but I do have a good story. Um, Tell us I, more. <laughs> uh, when I was little, we lived across, I don't, again, I don't remember age. I'm not good with kids ages. Like if I see a kid, I'll be like, He's 17. You're 14. <laughs> and it's like, he's three, he's six. Um, yeah, I'm not good with that. So I don't, I'm not going to put any age stamps on any of these stories, by the way. Um, but I was very little and we lived across the street from my aunt and uncle. And they had my cousins live there. And it was like the greatest thing ever. Cause you basically had like built in friends, friends across yeah. the street. Um, so for Halloween, we had a Halloween party and it was in our front yard and it was gated in. We had tree, like two trees with a hammock in between. And I was dressed as Snow White. And I was sitting on um, the hammock 
And um, my dog came running up, jumped on the hammock, and I fell straight forward. And there was an exposed rock on the ground, which hit my head. And blood just went carry style nice. all over me. And my mom like passed out. So that's, oh that's, I feel God. like that story is very good. Costume, <laughs> that's a great costume and like bloody it snow yeah, white. It's like a bloody snow white. Yeah. Nice. I mean, points for exposed rock. Should Unfortunately, that. Exposed <laughs> rock. Your, your head that hit the rock. I still have like a little, and maybe that's why I have my bangs, but I do have a little cut, like a little it underneath these it's a curtains. Harry Potter thing. Yeah, yeah. We respect that's, that's it. an we amazing. Well. Our stories in comparison to your story kind of sucked. I, I don't mean, even I remember I what I. Mine were horrible. Well, that's cute. I was mm-hmm. the I was the big baby. That you was, were the big. Was, <laughs> you're the big baby. I still can't live that down. Bloody Snow White wins. Yeah, Do you remember Snow. your very first trick or treating experience? Don't like. I don't remember if we would go trick or treating. Do you have amnesia? I was, <laughs> are you ninety years old? I think old, I have that thing like shit? Frankie Munoz has, where you don't, you don't like. You don't have like you don't because you know most people they forget like what they like what they do. Yeah, there's something I've, like my past. I can barely remember. There's a thing, and I was actually looking it up, and there was a girl that was talking about. And I don't remember the name of it, but there's a thing that they have, um, and you don't remember like vivid memories of things, and people have to remind you. Like you block them out of your mind, and I'm not sure what the reason. Is reasoning. it selective yeah. memory? No, or it's you- something. It's like. I don't know. I feel like it's something pretty serious, but oh great! Because I don't getting remember. Diagnosed. Yeah, I mean, we're doctors. You're getting WebMD'd right now, but I'm not a doctor. It's cancer. And I, <laughs> it's cancer. Yeah. And I don't uh, know what I'm talking about. But I feel like I have that too. I have a lot of things where I vaguely remember, and then someone will tell me, and I'm like, oh, I guess I kind of remember that, yeah, but not really. I have the opposite. It. I remember too much, and I'm just like. <sighs> Vivid memories. Yeah, like I remember everything. I don't remember Weird. my. I'm so jealous. Like there's. People that you don't want like, to be like I that. I remember no. what it was like in the womb. And I'm like, I remember yeah. like potty training that? and stuff. Like I remember what? weird, like I remember certain, like just old. Potty old training school. is like two years old. Yeah. yeah I, I remember. Don't start I remember. Five. No, I remember like old school shit. I think I was like three. Like I, I was, I don't remember being in diapers, but I remember having to to like figure out how to use a toilet. To use the potty. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How like, did it, it go for you? Not ideal. <laughs> I mean, what would you was, grade yourself? I mean, mm-hmm. I would give myself a 3.5 on Yelp. Out of five? Yeah. That's pretty good. That's, That's above average. Like, I would go to that restaurant. I have, yeah, I would. I feel like I wet the bed a lot. My rating was probably a lot lower. I think I just As, I think I've revealed too much. We should move on. <laughs> um, the memory. So, <laughs> so I know that you're into ghost hunting and the paranormal. Yes. Do you remember your first, I guess it could be a paranormal or, go, or ghost hunting experience that made you a believer? Like, the thing that happened where you're like, oh, this shit is real. Um, I because that would have been old. I definitely wouldn't later. say I'm a believer. I'm definitely <gasps> curious. Oh, like snap. I'm in between, where I'm like I, I'm the I want to believe. Okay, so you haven't had but that one same, thing. One thing did happen to us. Um, we so yeah, I was on a ghost hunting group in a ghost hunting group, uh, the San Francisco Ghost Society, and we were, um, every now and then we would go, on like these ghost hunting. Were you in a trip, s- like a specific area or a location? Yeah. Oh my God. What is it called? Matt, do Matt, you remember? Real quick. He says, uh, a fart of the It was brain. in Ione, California, and it was a boys' reformatory school. Okay. Um, so known to be haunted. Known I'm to be haunted. S- yeah. Okay. Um, it's like Preston shut Academy. Preston Academy. Um, it's like one of those really cool old, like broken down looking buildings. And, you can do like an overnight ghost hunt there. So we went and did one of those and we were in the kitchen downstairs and we were with a small group and there was one other group of um, us in the building, but they were like four stories up and to the like way so not over. Where, they, like you like there's hear no them. way, there's no yeah. contamination of their investigation with our investigation. Like there was no one in our area. Um, so we had someone who was helping us like, find things like leading your ghost hunt right um so they told us the story where they think that there's one of the spirits is kind of um guiding one of the other spirits Mm -hmm. of this woman so we asked him that one like we specifically asked that one spirit like are you protecting this other spirit and down the hall we heard with our very own ears just someone say no and we so were just on, like, like what? voice. Yeah, like a distinct, like we heard it with our ears and we got it on our recorder. 
Like it was nuts. That's like stuff I don't want to deal with. Yeah, Ashley, like, I'm, not, I, I'm not down. Every time I'm like, and then we're going to go to this place. And she's like, yeah. no, I don't really want to do that. No, I, I'm like, yeah, let's go. I'm already so, there. So what was your reaction? Were you were you initially like, that's not real? Or is that a person or what? Like, It was like, we kind of all stood up and was like, what? And then like, we kind of looked around the hall because we went outside the kitchen. We were looking and we're like, like there's trying no to one here. It, this right. is insane. Yeah, because the, fir- like, the first thing is always like, no, this there must be someone down there or something. Yeah, or your mind heard it or something. Yeah, right. But you wanted it. But for everyone we had, to like, hear Like we had a group it. of six people in there and we all heard it. We all reacted to it. Um, and there was no one else in the area that could have done it. And I also got touched later. Um, in that same location? In the same location. We were upstairs <laughs> and we were sitting in the dark and um, I would ghost hunt with my boyfriend, Matt. So like we would normally like sit next to each other and every now and then like, when you're when we're ghost hunting, he would just kind of do this, like Matt would, right? Like like a, touch like, oh, you, here, like hey. right? Like yeah. you know, I'm still here type thing. So I'm sitting there, and it happens, and I look over at him, and he's too far for him to do it, <laughs> no. and I'm like, now that one kind of got me like a little bit more because I'm like, that's crazy because they're mimicking a feeling that I you're accustomed kn- to. Yeah, I know because like once it happened, I'm like, oh, it's Matt, and, and I and you never looked. said that and feeling for them to know exactly. So it's like they're like learning these or whatever it is. I don't want learning. humans touching me. So the fact that a dead thing could touch me, I'm like, You're no. like no, no, no. I didn't. I didn't come yeah. here to be touched by strangers. Not, yeah. No. I think I'm the same way. Initially, I jumped to let's figure out what it could be, mm-hmm. and then once we rule all those things out, well, when we can't figure out anything that's logical, yeah. then it has to be something we can't explain. Yeah. So I definitely agree. I've. I'm a skeptic to the sense that I want to debunk it first. Mm-hmm. But then once I rule all those things out, if I can't find anything that it was, then You're just like have either of you seen like an apparition though, like an actual I've like never form? seen any type no. of form. That's what they yeah, Oh, I actually either. I take that back. So we were at, um, we were filming the show ghosted and we were at the old Charleston jail and we were looking down, um, so it's a jail. So there was a, a gate and it was a door and it had just like a little window area with iron bars and we were looking through it. And through that hallway where it was essentially the morgue was down that hallway. So where they would lay, basically lay the bodies on the slab, mm-hmm. drain the blood and, you know, clean the bodies up and all that stuff. We saw a figure of something. I don't, I can't explain it. And I feel like when I get really afraid, I don't know how to process things. I feel like in my mind, it just can't. It's like, that's not real. Let's just erase it. But as we were talking it over, it looked like something on all fours and initially our thought was that's a dog or it's an animal or it's something. And the other person that I was with was saying, well, to me, it looked like a person on all fours. And what it looked like was someone moving across the hallway on all fours, whether they were like on their back or like on their front, style. What exorcist the style. Walk. And when we, when I'm thinking it in my mind to myself, I'm thinking that's like my mind just playing tricks on me. We're in a prison. It's haunted. I'm afraid. But as we were explaining what we saw to the person that worked there, that was like the historian, he's like, oh yeah, a lot of people report seeing like an animal type figure across this area. And I, in my mind, I'm like, did I really see that? But when I see other people reaffirming what I saw and the reason that we saw it was there was like a light coming through the door. It was outside of the building. So it was the moonlight shining through like the little crack and you can see a figure clearly walking across I don't want to see that either. I'm good. That's nuts. And to see it and to feel it and to, you know, all of that stuff personally is one thing. But once you say it and someone's like, oh, yeah, people that are in here see that all the time. Yeah. Especially since you saw (gasps) it and no one told you ahead of time, like, oh, keep an eye out because some people see this type thing. Because then that could plant it into your mind. Absolutely. But the fact that you're seeing this thing that other people have seen. Before you knew that other other people saw it. Yeah. Then there's something to that that makes it. Yeah. It's. I think the thing that I guess shakes me the most is the fact that when you see something you can't explain, you want to think, oh, I'm crazy or my mind's playing tricks on me or I want to believe something so bad that my, you know, I'm visually seeing something that isn't there. But when other people reaffirm it, you're like, okay, well, there's something to that. Whether it's real or not or whether your mind is actually playing tricks on you, there's no real like 100 percent true answer. And I think that's the thing that's so frustrating is what is real evidence? Unless mm-hmm. you have it on camera. And to to this day, everything can be faked. Mm-hmm. If it was filmed 20 years ago, I would say it's a lot harder to fake it. Um, but when you see something, someone else reaffirms it, or you have actual evidence, how do you debunk that? 
Yeah. You know, so ugh, it gives me chills. It's crazy. <laughs> um, have you had any sort of like UFO or alien type of experience? No, and I really, that's another thing where I'm like, I just, I want to see, see something too. cool. Like my dad lives on this piece of land that's massive and it's just him and like a couple other smaller houses, but he'll like go up on this mountain and he'd like, I'll go up. Like I went up with him one time cause we were just hanging out and he was like, oh yeah, if you look off in that, sometimes if I just stare off into that area of the sky, I'll just see these weird Casually. unidentified things. Yeah. yeah. Like he's just talking about it. Like just it's sorry. no big yeah. deal. Is and I'm like, California. Yeah. <sighs> and I'm like, and I'm all like Have you ever seen anything? Guy. I haven't seen anything. If you saw something, would you want to be abducted? Oh, no. this is oh, that's <laughs> this, this is a question. Also, this was going down the rabbit hole too. Yes. But I'm just like, I would like to see something, but like ghosts, I don't want them to touch me. Like I'm just like, you can stay in your lane, but like I'll watch well, you. Well, we've established that if there is any sort of alien craft or experience mm -hmm. that we're okay with being abducted as long as they follow our rules. Like self care. And we have we have a few rules. Like they yeah. there's no probing. Yeah. You like I mean, you can sit on the couch and we can hang out, but there's no like a weird shit. There's gotta that can be happen. deodorant. Yeah, on yeah. like if it's like a cool hang sesh, like I'll yeah. sure, yeah, it's I'll like do a it. moon lounge. You'll sign that like, release. Like have yeah. a cocktail. Like, okay, yeah. I can I can hang out because like I'd I'd want to learn and be like. So it's like a loose abduction. Yeah. Like okay, we're just I can like do a chilling. Loose. I'm not doing the like, like you said, no probing. No probing. Um, no probing without consent, and you don't. Have why would consent. they want you if they didn't want to probe you? Like, why would they? They just be like, hey man, let's chill. Like, yeah, maybe they just want to know like how, what it is like to hang out on the couch and watch some Spaceship Netflix and chill yeah. and like have really? a coke. Yeah, you know, no. relax. Nothing, you know, hmm. no weird shit. So we have agreed that if that's the case, we're into it. Yeah. If there's pr like Cameron basically said, if there's any sort of alien craft and he could be abducted, he's like all in. And he didn't, he didn't establish any rules. So I'm like, that's pretty shitty. Cause you don't know what's going to happen. Have no idea. Like what they're going to do. Like I, <laughs> I listened. Cameron said, as long as he can come I back. I just but, feel like they but would. But what if weird shit happened? You're me. fine. Like you're cool. Like they probe you. What if they you? put like alien juice in your What if they like stream? impregnate you? Yeah. Like I've heard stories of like Dude, people who get. <laughs> so he, if he can have a baby, be probed and have a baby, he's fine yeah. with it. I okay. what would it look I, like? Be like baby Jesus on crack with like little like baby Yoda just, and Cameron yeah. mixture. Yeah, I just imagine the alien from Family Guy, but just like with a really with like with long beautiful hair and long and hair and like a beard. flowing locks. Yeah, the fan is blowing, his hair is moving in the wind, and like yeah. three legs or something just to make it yeah, weird. Just to make it yeah. that extra cool. So AJ is yeah. on our team of the sign the release of the rules and we're cool yeah. with abduction. Yeah. But no specific alien stories. No. Okay. Well, I mean, you haven't, Ashley hasn't I've had never. anything. And it's like, I'm blind too. And I've said this before. Like, I just don't want to wear my glasses cause I don't look good. But I guess if I really <laughs> wanted to see things, I could put them on put and really on. look into the sky. Yeah, what you few. don't know is you've seen so yeah. many UFOs yeah. in the sky. But, but I also don't like sunlight. Them. So I'm just like, is that the sun? Fuck you. And but I'm the like, aliens could be an alien. only come out at nighttime. So. No, they don't. Not I don't think always, in Sedona. Yes, but. I in mean, Sedona, the, the part, rules don't apply. That's true. That's what I've So heard. basically this whole couch is going to Sedona and we're going to find aliens. Yes. And we're all okay with it as long as they sign the release. Yes. Yeah. No probe. I had a weird experience because one of my friends, well, like he goes to Sedona a lot and he's always like, yo, I was touched by aliens. And he'll like send me a photo of his like um, patio door and it'll have this weird spiral thing. I'm like, eh, whatever. But then I had a freak out moment because I got a nice coffee from Starbucks. I left it in my fridge for like a week. And the way that the creamer curdled, it was in exact these crazy spirals. And I sent it to him. I'm like, was I just touched by an alien via it's Starbucks? A alien is it in my, my place? Fridge. And he didn't respond. And I felt so stupid. But for a minute, I was like, what is this? It's a sign. We it was crazy. No, it didn't look real. It was not. So my, my only, I guess... I don't know that I would really consider it like a UFO experience, but we're going to put it in under that umbrella. It was in Sedona and we were, we were stargazing at night. We were just basically like, we're going to go to cathedral rock. We're going to go in the parking lot and we're just going to lay down on a blanket and look at the sky. And so it was me, Cameron, our friend Lindsay and our friend Abe, and we're laying on the blanket. And my first thought was like, it's warm out. We probably shouldn't be laying on this blanket. We're going to get like scorpions and spiders they are going to kill us in the night, but it was fine. So we're looking up at the stars and all of a sudden some, our, um, our friend Lindsay blinked. And in that moment that she blinked, we saw a flash in the sky that just turned the whole sky white. 
And I know I've said this on our alien episode, but I'm going to say it again because there was, we couldn't explain it. It wasn't a shooting star. It wasn't, there was like nothing to explain it. It was so fast. The whole sky lit up white and three out of four of us saw it. And it wasn't like lightning or anything? It wasn't lightning. There was not was a cloud in the sky. Was it super hot out? Because sometimes you get like electrical bullshit in the sky. No, it was like, I don't know, maybe like 75. It was like a nice, comfortable temperature. Mm -hmm. And then someone was like, well, maybe it was a shooting star that was falling directly down above us and it, it like burned out. But even if that were the case, there's no way that the whole horizon yeah. would have lit up white. And to me, that's... I can't explain it. I don't know what it was. I'm not a scientist. Maybe it was something that's explainable, but what the fuck was that? Yeah. <laughs> like, hmm. what is that? And for it to happen so quickly that one person blinked and they missed it. Yeah. And so I chalk it up as aliens. I don't know. I can't say for a fact it was or it wasn't, but I'm going to say that was my first UFO experience. I really hope it was an alien and like, oh, we're going to choose her. And then they're like, wait, no, she won't let us probe her. Yeah. Let's get out of here. I can't find yeah. the photo. All I can find is this in my fucking photo she, stream. I don't know what Ash is doing. Lord but she I'm trying to find Lord Lord I'm trying to find this photo because I feel like a fraud, but it, like it really happened. Wait, I, are you talking about the, the Starbucks? The coffee. Yes, because it was such an iconic photo. She was trying to coffee in the search and maybe it'll bring it up. No, and I don't think Lord it knows. Farquaad. I'm not um, going to find it. Okay, I'm so I think that that finishes all of our first things. Unless you yeah. have any other first stories that you want to mm -hmm. share with us. If not, we'll move down to our... I don't think I have any. Down the rabbit hole. hole. First, down the hole of the rabbit. Down the hole. So we are thinking of a topic and I, I chose down the rabbit hole because everyone goes on the internet and you search for, Weird I don't shit. know, cat videos or alien abduction videos or whatever memes, it is anything exactly memes and you end up videos five hours later you're like half of my day my life is over and i've found either great things holy grail or bullshit <laughs> or i wasted half of my life yeah half of the day so we all kind of went down the rabbit hole and found things you want to start i'll start because uh since moving to la whoa is my microphone you need to put that mic in front of your mouth i've realized that my entire breathing system skin etc has turned to hell and i was like maybe i'm allergic to los angeles and and then i was like no that's crazy but then or is it i was like well there are some weird allergies and i have friends like i remember growing up there was this girl and like we couldn't go to a restaurant without her talking to the chef personally because she was allergic to every everything food. and i was like get away from me you're no fun but then i then, <laughs> Poor as, child. then as i realized i should develop my social skills and i was like okay i need to bring more people in my life Everyone you should be like, nice so then like i i had like a friend who was like allergic to the sun and i was like oh okay and then Wait, for real yeah like they would just, and then one of my hairdresser is allergic to the cold. So like my apartment is a, a cave and I know it when he very, comes over, I have cold. to have the heat on cause he'll get like crazy hives on his legs and stuff. We get bubbles. Like we went to the beach oh. for a shoot and I put him in the water and I felt so bad. Like his body looked like a mushy oatmeal pile. So he can't, so it's so like is his it, skin reaction. I love you, Logan. The, cold in a the way photos that were great. Uh, uh, like I couldn't imagine being allergic to the sun. Yeah, but the water. Watch this; yeah. it gets worse because you can be allergic to the water. First of all, the water. Heard, I went down the rabbit hole. I was like, oh, "Weird allergies." So it's called, and I'm going to butcher this. Sorry, scientists, etc. People with brains. <laughs> it's called aquagenic urticaria. Mm -hmm. It's a rare condition that causes itchy and painful hives to break out whenever the sufferer comes in contact with water. How do you Which take a shower? Maybe I have because I don't like drinking water and I don't get hives, no. but I just feel like shit. Fun fact, we did an episode about like the apocalypse. What happens if, you know, oh, like your no. emergency kit, what do you need? And I was like, Ashley, what do you have in your emergency kit? <laughs> She's like, I have one like eight ounce Which bottle of water when and you I drink it. my apartment. One, she never drinks water. I'm it like, was how an are you alive? See, and I That's drank exactly it. what that water is for, Leanna. It's for emergencies, and, now, and she did that. And now, yeah. if there's an emergency, well, she's gonna die. I think it's just a personal problem for me. But this is when um, the hives occur as a result of the body's mast cells releasing histamine, which creates the hives. So essentially, like when you come in contact, when you drink it. So I don't know. It sucks to be them. I feel oh, bad. Can because, you imagine like, having like hives as on your a human, inside and your outside? As a human, you're yeah. seventy percent water, aren't you? Or something like that. Yeah, but yeah. I feel like you're not allergic to your own water. Just because it's your water. own water. Yeah. So this one is <laughs> one that I have other people's water. Outside, other water. outside water. Outside this water, is one no. that I've heard from people as an excuse, but it's real when you're allergic to exercise. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't go to the gym. I'm some allergic people, to exercise. Exercise induced anaphylaxis and ureter. Blah blah blah. blah. 
So is, wait, are you allergic to the exercise or like? The well, I'm gonna tell you heart? what okay, happens. Sorry, I'll shut up, bitch. <laughs> um, it's there's an extreme allergic reaction caused by exercise, um, and it's another. <laughs> Stop! This I'm trying me. To, I don't so believe many you. Words. There's so many words. Anaphylaxis. Blah 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 blah. You said um, she prefaced this before. She said my topic has a lot of big words. <laughs> it's just really big words. Anyways, um. Yeah. So when you exercise, you have it, You go into anaphylactic shock, essentially, when your body is, like, reaching certain heightened, like- uh, So, like, heart your, rate? Yeah, heart rate, blood, like, your body physically moving to certain extremes. Your body goes into anaphylactic shock. I have that. Huh. I so do it's not. like you go into, like, Hulk mode, except yeah. they don't turn into Hulk. And they you just turn into a hive. Yeah, it says it includes- You, you can't sense. breathe and you, you suffocate. You can have narrowing awful. of the airways <laughs> and even you. collapse. So, oh are any of you guys allergic to anything? Black like flies, bitches. You're allergic to black flies. Andrew, are you allergic to anything? Mm -mm. I'm allergic to mango and Cipero, which is an antibiotic. Nice. Oh. Yeah. That's scary. This, these last two are yes. my favorite because one of them is allergic to money. Um, Wait, what? Yeah. Like the the feel or the Like the coin. Touch? So if you're allergic to like um, silver nickel oh, and like sulfate. Silver yeah. And yeah. So yeah. yeah. you're yeah. like, ooh, I can't touch those that coins. I'm allergic to fake earrings, which are usually... What nickel or I'm allergic to anything from Claire's, which I'm assuming <laughs> which is, is usually fake, fake, fake yeah. money. It's like your made of skin yeah. turns green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Agreed. A and my last favorite one is allergic to human touch, which I what? feel like sometimes I have because I hate everyone. Are you rogue? What? It's dermographism, <laughs> which is um, it's another form of and I can't say this fucking word urticaria, and it's a lifelong condition and um it. The, yeah, so you skin? essentially your skin. If you have human touch, it causes swelling. Well, is that's unfortunate. Like the oils from like other people's like other skin is outside skin. Or yeah, is it actually, like it's another. It's yeah. It's essentially like the skin to skin t contact creates like this abrasive swelling. That sucks. Yeah. Is that what that ten feet apart movie was about? Probably. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. <laughs> but I find those funny because it's just like basic stuff like money, I water. I find people's misfortune hilarious. <laughs> yes. Could you imagine being rich and then like having to have like small change just and then dying gloves. from it? You'd wear gloves. Yeah. You'd yeah. adapt. Yeah. Anyways. But, but water or sunlight or things that are like you need to survive. Oh, yeah. Avoid these things. Well, you can avoid them, but like. That sucks. You kinda, usually you need that stuff. Yeah. So, and then, yeah, I mean, essentially, like, and I make up my own WebMDs where I'm like, I'm allergic to bullshit. And I then I just don't go out. I'm I like, I'm go allergic on, to your bullshit. <laughs> I don't go on WebMD anymore because I feel like everything that happens to me, I'm like, well, I'm going to die. Yeah. And it's very sad. So I just don't, I don't want to know. I'm like, whatever. If I'm going to die, I'm going to die. I don't need WebMD to tell me how unfortunate my life is going to be. So yeah. we don't go on that website anymore. I forgot. Someone, a pen company made a pen and it was like, WebMD, you have cancer. <laughs> <laughs> so true. It's, that's always the answer. Like you type... Oh, I have a headache and I have this and like there's blurry eyes. And then WebMD is like, tumor. it's a brain tumor. You're, 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 you're literally going to die. die. You're you done, might as well me. just yeah. give up on yeah. life. You're going to die. Yeah. Sorry. WebMD is not going to sponsor us. No. <laughs> they might. They want like cute girls to talk about medicine. About unfortunate diseases and shit. Um, so my, I don't do, you, should I go next? Do you want to yeah, go next? Yeah, because now I'm realizing I didn't, I, so <laughs> uh, I found um, she just found photos of cats <laughs> the, the problem is I went to go see cats the movie and then <laughs> the uh, girl and brain just went. drained uh, no I found this meme which perfectly explains whenever I go down because I go down many rabbits so it's it's this girl <laughs> she's down the rabbit bundled hole all the up time. and it says me four hours after I should have gone to bed time to solve the John Benet Ramsey case because oh. that is 100% what happens to me yes. where I'm like I, if I sit for too long, I'll just be like, wait a second. This is the time. I I am going to solve the John Benet Ramsey murder right now. Which is or how has that not like with technology, I think about that all the time. Yeah. How has that not been solved? Exactly. How do they not figure it's it out? It's our job. It's <laughs> see? This is the moment. This is the moment, us. moment right now <laughs> where we figure it out. Uh just or I'll like if I'm sitting for too long, I'll be like, let's go over the OJ uh Let's Mur watch uh, the like, R. Kelly documentary. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> like, Let's find those kids. Let's go to his recording studio in like fucking I just, Atlanta. 
I find just, some ghosts. Okay, but the, the that truth. That one's solved. But I, that's more of <laughs> me. It I mean, we know the truth. We, we know the truth. We, we know. We know. Um, the, have, have you solved any cases? No, but the problem <laughs> is, is then I'll read other people's theories and I'm like, that's it. Yeah. The Black Dahlia was killed by this person. Yes. And then I go into, uh, then I, but then I read another there. I'm like, okay, I was wrong before. <laughs> this person killed. I have the admitted Black defeat. Dahlia. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. So I just go down these, right. These. Multiple unsolved, rabbit yeah, holes. Uns- yeah, all these unsolved mysteries where I'm just like, no, this is the moment where I solve it. So maybe we've missed our calling and really we're going to be private investigators, private investigators and we're going to solve all of the cases. Yep. Because honestly, like you think of a lot of those shows and documentaries and things that you see and you're like, technology is a lot better now. Yeah. Like if we had that evidence mm-hmm. and we ran it through DNA or whatever fancy scientist yep. things that they have now, we probably could find some shit. Yeah. But why have not they? Convincible, right? If we have the DNA. <laughs> Convincible, shit, we you can find it. Can you find it. made up a word. Just give me some devices or something. We'll DNA, find it. The more you know. <laughs> Education. <laughs> you know what? We we have a new job. There's going to be a side I'll project bring my of the show. Stethoscope and Doritos, and we'll be a legitimate company. <laughs> yeah, this um, is it. This is our new calling. So I went down the rabbit hole, and my story is start somewhere where actually this story here is going to end on that part. But I went down the rabbit hole of like haunted dolls because I feel like we have so many things about haunted dolls. There's Annabelle, there's Chucky. I have a haunted doll. <laughs> Wait, what? Dilbert. Dilbert. Oh, I thought you were gonna, I was no. gonna have, do you <laughs> have my proposal. Let me pull him out. No, I told you Dilbert was haunted. I know, haunted. but I didn't know he was like oh, yeah, no, actually he's haunted. haunted. Well, he had a thing with like bad people. Well, like I told you, like the one on all fours on my Floor. Yeah, the little weird yeah, creepy so doll. when I was living in Seattle, I would put him in the corner of the kitchen and I'd have his head facing towards like the um, corner of like the countertop because mm-hmm. he just like had a weird look on his face. And I was like, you need to go to sleep. I and I didn't want to like tuck him in. So I was like, <laughs> but I was living with someone at the time and wow, the candle just blew out when I started talking See? about him. Dilbert is haunted. Um, Wait, what's his name again? Dilbert, Dilbert. the dog Dilbert. baby. Dilbert, the if doll you are baby. in the room, knock three times. Oh my God. Anyways, um, Dilbert is like, he picks up on like bad people in my life because I was living with someone in Seattle. And I remember he would go and get water at like 3 a.m. And he would tell me that Dilbert would start turning around. No. Yeah. You didn't tell me this. I did tell you this, but like Maybe he only does memory, it. I don't like remember. when you're over, he doesn't turn. He doesn't get turned. Ooh, like, he doesn't. See? He doesn't get dirty. He doesn't go to the club and get. But it was down. happening again in West Hollywood when I was living with that other. The one you still. That what? crazy. Yeah, he was doing it again. He didn't do anything when I was at your apartment. He used to. I had a window and um, he, I had my little, my coffee table now, that chest. I would yeah. put him on there and I would have him facing towards my bed. It's the one that's like on, on all, fours. all fours. Yeah, and he's supposed to have batteries, but he doesn't. But um, my uh, roommate would be out on the patio and Dilbert would start turning around. And he I, would just like try to face the person that wasn't Does he have good. like a motorized neck? <laughs> I don't know. I've never put batteries in him. I think oh, so he doesn't have charging. batteries. No. You start charging like a service. Like, okay, girls, bring your, your bad new boyfriend, boyfriend Dilbert, yeah. and, and, and Dilbert, Dilbert will, will tell you, you if he's bad. Yeah. Or you should leave him or like, say. This is, but he's never done anything to me. Like, I don't feel a presence. He just gets turned. <laughs> Just, Why do we keep saying it like he is like I'm a like DJ? Like like it's certain, though. baby. DJ Khaled, we the best. DJ Dilbert. So oh my for God, the next table. episode, DJ, or DJ Dilbert. Yeah, DJ Dilbert. DJ Dilbert. Yeah, DJ Dilbert. 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 It's going to be on we the, the table. Best. Yeah. Sponsor us. <laughs> no, I didn't know. What? I thought I told you No, that. you didn't tell me. All Anyways. I know is last time I was there when the fire alarm went off, the one baby with the light, Yeah, the red it's always light, babies. It's, she has a lot of weird baby dolls, <laughs> like our baby doll here, but you have a lot of them in your it's apartment. It's just weird that the candle blew out. It did. Right as you started talking about him. He knows, We're going to bring he him He knows mother is away. His ears are burning right now. He's like, <laughs> he mother is really at home ear. He's, he's real creepy. So yeah, I, I, I imagine. He was given to me for free. So I guess maybe that was a sign. They were like, please take this I was buying a rosary doll. and he was like, take this doll. Because I know you like weird shit. I was like, <laughs> okay. So I went down the rabbit hole of haunted dolls. And uh, we know, again, we know Chucky. We know Annabelle. Mm. Um, they all have history. Annabelle has movies made around her. And the Annabelle that we know is not 
what we see in the films. Mm -hmm. So everyone sees this Annabelle and they're like, oh, she's super creepy, but she's actually based on like a Raggedy Ann doll. And if you're old like us, love Raggedy Ann. <laughs> you know what Raggedy Ann dolls are. They're very um, sweet looking. They're very cute. They're very cute. Um, but this doll has caused a lot of mayhem and havoc and she is uh, still property of the Warrens and she's still in a case. I'm pretty sure Zach Bagans bought her. I thought oh, he really? bought, I'm pretty sure she's at the Haunted Robert. Museum. Or did he buy Robert? He bought Robert the dog because it's the one you have to like ask permission to be like, can I like look I at you? I know he has Wait, I a Robert, doll. No, Robert, I'm pretty Robert sure Robert the doll's in a museum in, in Key West, museum. Florida. Really? Yes. Yeah. There's one I when I went Robert and I like so didn't want to go in and he was like, yeah, that's a bad one. So like, okay. Annabelle, I believe is still property of the Warrens. They have both passed. So I'm not sure where their collection yeah. is held at the moment, um, but I have a fascination with dolls and I went down the rabbit hole and I'm looking on the internet and I'm seeing, I guess the stories of people that have experienced with those dolls, those particular dolls. And then also people on eBay that are selling haunted dolls, which I didn't know was a thing. So if you go on eBay and you search haunted doll, there's a bunch of people that are selling. They're on Facebook marketplace too. Are they really? Yeah. So I feel like this phenomenon happened after movies like Annabelle and Chucky, um, because people are obviously trying to profit off of making money off of old creepy looking dolls. Most of them are not haunted. Uh, most people are just trying to make a little extra coin off of something that looks creepy. I am a victim of wanting to buy those dolls because I think they're cool looking. Mm -hmm. But the fact is, if you were to actually have a haunted doll, what would you do? Like if you were to buy something off eBay and it turned out that weird things are happening or Dilbert's turning his head or things Just are moving. Just don't bring some bad dudes in my apartment. We're good with Dilly. Yeah, but he seems pretty Will Dilly's his rapper name. <laughs> what would you we'll do? buy him a gold chain. If, if you put the doll in the chair and then you woke up the next morning, the doll was like on the floor, what would you yeah. do? What would be your initial reaction? Earthquake. But if there was no recorded earthquake, what would happen? I don't know, because I'd almost think a ghost picked it up and put it there. Like, I wouldn't think he would. I, that would be my first idea is, like, he didn't just, like, levitate like an asshole. So he a ghost was, moved probably, it and it's totally fine. He probably and you're knows I have a lot day. of sweet snacks and he's just trying to find a way. But AJ, trying what to would you him. do? I, for me, it would have to happen multiple times. So if I put him in a, in a chair and I'm like, okay, go about my day. And then the next day I come back and he's in a certain position, I would be like, hmm, weird. And then I would put him back in his mm -hmm. in a normal position and be like, okay. like a logical person. Yeah. If the thing moves by itself, you're like, Oh, it's totally fine. I'm going to put him back and see what happens. But, but like, what if you just don't check up on your doll daily? So maybe you like got drunk and you did move him. Like you just sort of like, Oh, that was probably me, but it really was haunted. Well, that, I mean, hmm. sometimes I pick up like <laughs> things in my apartment. I put sometimes them down. Ashley drinks so much. No, she I'm not, I don't. <laughs> I just lift things up and I put them down. It's like, it's called strength training. You're really I working just, out and you don't remember. And I you have just, am selective amnesia. I just imagine you come home drunk and you're just like, mer, mer, I do. Mer, I do. Throughout That's the I house, ended like up, wherever you're I ended you're up going. with a pumpkin in my sink one night. I don't know how it got there. Uh, <laughs> I woke up and was like, well, there it is. So my initial reaction, if I came home and the doll was, you know, our creepy clown, he's in the chair mm. or the dolls are in the chair. And then I came back and it wasn't there. It'd be like, you're fucking haunted. I would burn you or throw you off the balcony. We That's would be done. No Cameron, Cameron is shaking his head. He's like, no, we would make a throne for it. We yeah. would talk to it. And an then altar. The thing, I would be like, if I was like, okay, no, if I knew for sure this doll was haunted, I'd be like, Hey, you get your own room in the house. We are gonna. You get this cute little bed. Yeah. You. I'm gonna like. What do you want? Do you want? I'm me gonna to, like, serenade you to sleep <laughs> yeah. every night. <laughs> Let me know what you need because I'm here for you. Well, uh, like Frederick the clown has his own chair in my apartment. His wheelchair. Our our we just we have matching clowns. Baca. What is our? You named our clown. He's over there smiling like a little creepy. He's cute. asshole He's over there. Cute. Yeah. That's his name, creepy cute. asshole. Creepy asshole. The third. He, he doesn't really do much. He's been but he's a distant cousin of mine. He is. They have the same face, different outfits. Um, but same ours mother. The, same mother. They don't. He doesn't do anything. Same mother, different pants. And so you know. our creepy clown was actually gifted, or I don't know if it was necessarily gifted, or it was, it was like you have to take it because <laughs> um, was it like a ring situation where like sit down and watch this VHS tape? It was more like here, take this clown home. Well, so we were at a convention and. I wasn't there, I was at my booth and Cameron walks by this booth and there's this clown, I think he was in a box, right? He was like in a box behind this booth and he's like, oh, that's really cool. Mm -hmm. And so the person that was the owner at the time of the clown had sent a video or a photo to his girlfriend and she was like, you are absolutely not bringing that home. 
I don't care where it came from, get rid of it. It's not coming into our house. And so I think it was the guy's aunt or some relative found it in their basement and he inherited the clown. And so a girlfriend was like, you cannot absolutely bring that home. It creeps me out. And then we randomly were in a cemetery in Philadelphia and we get a text message and the friend is like, hey, if you want that clown, you can have it because my girlfriend said I can't bring that home. Like so clown, now it sits on our, our couch. I don't think it's haunted. He hasn't. I was I mean, holding him. I didn't get any weird vibes. From he hasn't him done anything. anything yet. He's but just some, very thick. And I think he's, he's too heavy. Boy. He's a thick boy. <laughs> he's in great condition. So maybe he's waiting for his moment. Something might happen. We'll report back yeah. if he does like anything. He just farted. And he's trying to see if anyone noticed. He's like, but I have a friend over here. Oh yeah, which we talked about <laughs> at my apartment. She's very creepy. Baby whispers. Baby secret. Hold That's on. Chucky's baby. sister. It is. This is. Made by Mattel, 1965. They look at just, hair texture. Look at, um, look at her bald spot in the back. That's me. I believe That's she why came, I have a hat on. She came. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> she came with a ponytail when she was first in her box. But Mattel thought it was a great idea to make a, a doll. Oh, wow. I, I felt like her head. In? You can pull her. Let me put her by the microphone. Oh, and it then does you can pull sound. her string. The creepiest fucking doll ever made in Let history. me hold it. Why is she whispering? So why is it a secret? Her that name is that's Baby name. Secret, and she whispers oh, okay. to you. Okay. This is as close as I'll ever get so to So she a says, child. "I'm going to tell you the thing." She's she says five or six things. Come on, bitch. <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, what did she say there? What's so her, secret? her voice box is. She's from 1965. She's a little old. So Your this knowledge. one is. Definitely seen some shit. Usually her mouth moves a little bit. Very. <laughs> if you look at her mouth, it kind of moves a tiny, tiny bit. <laughs> she likes to I whisper, like to in, whisper the dark. in the dark. I like to Keep going. In the pull dark. it. Pull her string one more time because I feel like she's she gonna said. say. Oh, okay. We heard, heard that. We heard that. We know that. We know that fact. She likes to sleep with you. <laughs> Go again. I think she has one more thing to say. I like to or two. <laughs> Listen, what's that? Probably my stomach. Huh? No, that's on the list. My name is Baby wow, she Secret. She smells like a basement. She's old. She's from 1965. Um, that's not on the. Oh no, that's on the list. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, uh oh. What's her other? She has two more things, but she's not saying them. Listen, what's that? She has two more. Come on, say your other things that are creepy. One more. <laughs> so, fun fact. Okay, that sounded like a direct response to like yeah. what just happened. Hey, are we wait. not going to address the fact no, no, no. that Listen, she okay. finally said that and it was after you yelled at her? So last night when we came home, we brought her to her new home and I was really excited and I'm like, oh, we're going to hide her under the couch and we're going to surprise everyone. And I pull the string and she says, don't talk so loud. And Cameron and I look at each other and we're like, that's not <laughs> on the fucking list. That is not on the list. She's never said that before. Apparently it is on the list, but it scared the shit out of me. And I, she keeps saying it like all the perfect moments. She, yeah. She was saying this it. This looks like me after a day at work. <laughs> Her arms are disconnected. Don't okay. talk so loud. But can we talk about the fact that Mattel made a doll that whispers creepy shit to little girls and the commercial is even worse. So the commercial for it, if you look it up, it's a little girl with baby secret in this blood red onesie and with her hair all in a mess. Her mouth she moves. A brush. <laughs> She's from 1965. So her mouth is a little okay. broken, but normally like the brand new one, her mouth moves. It is creepy as yeah, hell. They would show it. Talking to, I have too many things. Would, <laughs> they'd show it up against like the kid. Whispering stuff. And I don't know, it didn't really say if the doll did well it's or. Surgery. <laughs> it's There's something in there. It's so creepy. It's a little motor in the mouth. Yeah. You can you can tell when you pull the string out that something's whirling. Maybe right. Maybe so you we lay her on her back. The whole the it goes one like this. she hasn't said she hasn't said hold me close and whisper which she doesn't is want me to creepy. hold her she doesn't she knows I'm taken with Dilbert she and you can have the baby back thank you baby 
lady. Baby. She feels musty. She's she's old. She's an old ass she lady. She feels like she holds like mothballs in her soul. And I don't I don't know that she did well or didn't do well. I'm not quite I'm pretty sure. sure she didn't do well. I don't think so. <laughs> Most I really people hope not. Cameron's all, it was a flop. Most people on eBay are selling it saying like in the description, my child won't go near this. There was one guy that was like, please someone buy this. My two cats are afraid of this doll. Like it needs to be out of my house. Um, yeah, look at her joint support. I mean, yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> she she is sad, but also fine. very cute. But I, I think there's a fascination with people and dolls, whether they're haunted or not. People are attracted to dolls. They like to care for them. They like to put them on shelves. I find that very creepy. Um, as I say that, I look around this apartment and there's, there's quite a few, <laughs> there's a few dolls looking right back items. at us. Yeah. There's a lot of dolls. We're not talking about Cameron. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I think there's a fascination with people attracting, I guess, objects and putting something to it. Saying, Don't you have a weird werewolf baby that you were oddly yeah, attracted to for I a do. bit? Well, I'm not attracted to it. Well, I, I mean, just you're really cool. fucking attached to it. You're like, what is it's werewolf called a baby? Were-pup, and it looks like a real life. If you had a werewolf and it was a baby and it looks real and it's super fucking cute. And we actually have like a baby Bjorn that we put it I've in. I've seen those it's, photos. It's, it's a real cute. So I maybe think- um, something's wrong with me, but they're real awesome. And she, now we have two of them. So we have another one that I'm revealing way too much about myself. We have another one in her one mouth. One for each house. <laughs> her mouth works a lot better and it's way creepier. I do have to say when the mouth moves and you're like, oh, but as a child, I would have never wanted this toy. I kind of want one now. But no, in, but if you were, yeah, I, like, I if do you were 11 years old, can I bring, have, I'll bring that to a meeting. And then when there's like a dead silence, I just pull the string. I want to <laughs> Well, she is like her her box is her voice box is old, so she's like, oh no. I don't like that one, and she has like a fart sound at the end. I don't know. I love her, but she's probably telling you she's like, I have to pee 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 pee. We're just gonna hold her right here. Um, Do you guys have any creepy dolls as children? Um, well, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> I don't know if they were creepy until I realized now, but like I did have a Raggedy Ann, which was like, uh, and then do you remember? But Raggedy Ann was do you like remember, a normal thing. What was thing. that? The Big Comfy Couch. Do you remember that show? Or am I too young? No, Big Comfy Couch was um, part of another show, wasn't it? It was like, they did the 10 second tidy and I had the Molly doll and I was like super attached the Molly to Molly doll. Not the Molly, not Molly the drug. What is she doing? The, no, she, Molly was like I the character. Like, I feel like you went to bed one night and you made this up in your mind. <laughs> I had the Molly doll. Is this another you coming home Woke up story? super depressed. No, this is like when I was a child. Molly, M-O-L-L-Y. Yeah. Yes. I don't really remember. Anyways, I had a Molly doll. <laughs> I, um... It was a little bit messed up looking and I don't know. It wasn't haunted. It was just kind of fugly and I was oddly attached to it. And then I had the whole American girl doll phase. Oh yes. But those were just like annoying. I don't think that was creepy. Well, they were also very expensive. So they were just annoying and expensive. Yeah. I I also had Molly. Maybe it was a trend. I had a lot of Mollies in my life. I had Polly pocket. Every man has a Molly. That is true. So you, you mentioned Robert the doll. Yes. Earlier. Are you familiar with Robert? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Um, I love so Robert. <laughs> I, Robert is really creepy. If you've mm-hmm. seen pictures of Robert, he kind of looks like moth state his face. Yeah. Uh, so he currently resides in, uh, I have notes of the, the museum, but he resides in a museum in Key West, Florida. Um, and Robert, the doll was, wasn't intentionally a toy. He was like what they thought was like a display, like for a window display and someone bought him and gifted him to, uh, <laughs> Dorito time. <laughs> it's it's Dorito be, time. It's story time. Now it's time for our sponsor. <laughs> Doritos. Doritos. I'm not going to ruin the audio, uh, but I'll just leave these right here. So Robert the doll is, I mean, he's kind of a creepy looking doll. I don't think he's creepy as creepy as baby No, he's secret. very innocent looking. He's, he's they cute. They always start innocent he's looking. Cute. Yeah, they, but he's caused a lot of like He's mayhem. caused a lot of mayhem. Like if you, if there's stories where like, if you give him a dirty look or if you're mean to him, if He'll you tap you. on his glass, mm-hmm. I feel you will bad go even talking home. about him. Yeah, like you cannot speak badly of him because then bad things will happen to you. He curses you. Well, do you believe that's real or do you believe that people attribute bad things happening to them? I think it's to real. Him? You think it's real? I think it's real. This is and another I'm moment skeptical. where I'm like, I want it to you be want real. I want, it. no, I want Robert to be 
cursing people. Like, I think that's the greatest thing to because be people, people. <laughs> people send him letters, letters saying, yeah. I am sorry that I looked at you funny. Mm-hmm. Or I didn't I'm believe sorry in I, you. Tapped, I, I tapped on your glass, all this stuff. And then after that, like, then they're fine. But so I want to believe this. I want to believe I that. But at the so same real. time, I'm thinking it's just you know these stories. You do something mean to Robert and then you go home and you start noticing the crappy things in your life that you didn't really pay attention to Don't before. Don't people get in car crashes and shit though? Yeah, people, people die and you find out you have animals. cancer, your cat dies, but that stuff happens every Ouch. day. Yeah, but- It's true. It, that is very true. And I agree with that because the current, I guess the girl that's running the museum or who's in charge of opening the museum gets letters like one to three a day, basically people apologizing for- um, not believing in him or saying bad things about him, um, which I guess it's easier to attribute something bad happening to something else rather than just thinking I have bad luck or whatever it may be. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think that would probably be my initial reaction too. Like if I went and saw Baby Secret and I knew she was cursed and something bad happened to me afterwards, I'd be like, well, that bitch Ooh. cursed me. Baby Secret <laughs> Baby did, secret. did, me, she got she did secret. me dirty. She did. Um, but Robert the doll, basically in this museum, they have said that in October, they send the, the doll to a different museum, I guess, mm-hmm. for Halloween time. And while Robert is gone, many things go wrong in the museum. And the second Robert is returned, things kind of settle. Calms down. So I don't know that I... I think he's full of secrets. <laughs> I don't know that I would say that he was haunted, but I have a very strong urge to go to Key West, Florida Me and visit too. him and take nope. a photo. Most people say that their cameras malfunction when they try, mm-hmm. try they, to take video or photo have, of him. You have to ask him, you have to ask Robert, permission. is it okay if I take a photo of you? And then that's when your camera will work. Right. So it is Not our down. duty no. to go to Sedona. Yes. Can we please <laughs> need to go Talk there to first? to the aliens, <laughs> go to Key West, Florida, hang out Talk with to Robert. Robert. Um, it's easy to say it sitting right now, like we would do it. I'm not, I'm saying right now, I'm <laughs> no, not going to do there. it. <laughs> like I'm that. in, I'm Road all in. Road trip version of let's Ashley's get Ashley's going to stay in the minivan. <laughs> I've got too many bad things going on to have another one. Robert. <laughs> but I, but then there's me and I'm like, you know, what'd be great. A night at the museum style oh, movie, yes. but horror yeah. where it's Robert. Or like just. And just seeing like, does he shit. come to life at night? Cause they, they'll say like, they'll see him the night before and like, you know, pack up the museum and then the next the doors, day yeah. he'll be in a different position. Mm-hmm. Like he's been up causing havoc all night or mm-hmm. something. There was he's uh, getting it on. <laughs> it's getting frisky in the museum. <laughs> there yeah, was a baby too. secret. Like, Ooh, I'm gonna tell you something <laughs> girl. Baby secret are getting it <laughs> That's on. That's why yeah. she whispers so yeah. much. I'm gonna tell you something. <laughs> tell me on the doll where Robert touched you. <laughs> this is taking a turn for the worst. You're speaking too loud. That's and what I he think, tells Robert. <laughs> the lady said there was, well, here's the thing is whenever you go down the rabbit hole and you see things on the internet, you're like, did that really happen? Or obviously you're trying to get views or you're trying to get clicks or whatever mm-hmm. it may be. Um, I have a hard time with anything believing it. And even though I've had experiences where things have happened where I'm like, well, I can't explain that. I don't know what that was. There's no explanation. That must be something out of this world or paranormal. Even when I see other people doing it, my immediate, I have like a list of things that happen where I'm like, yeah, that's not real. Mm -hmm. But I still want to go do it. And I think that that's like the, the innate urge in me where that's, I just want something to happen. Yeah. And I want to get solid evidence because I feel like all of these shows and things that we see a lot of the times they're like, this thing happened, but the camera wasn't working. And I'm like, wow, how convenient. My camera and- <laughs> was facing this way and yeah. Robert was over here and he did something funny, but I would. Right. Or the batteries died, which is a natural mm-hmm. thing that's happened. And I've experienced that mm-hmm. where we've been in haunted locations and batteries that were a hundred percent right when we started, we've been filming for five minutes, everything drains. Everything just goes. Yeah. And that is a thing that happens. And I, Although I believe that there's more to that, I feel like it is our duty to film something and get some solid evidence because I know that there's more than we can explain. Oh, for you sure. Know? Um, and whether it's Robert the Doll or Baby Secret or mm-hmm. a UFO experience, there's so much more out there f- that most people- I don't want to fuck with Roberto. <laughs> the whole time I'm talking, I just see her eyes are like- I'm just like, 
I'll be the LA based. Like I'll have a walkie talkie. Be like, okay, guys, like we're just doing this. Let me know what's happening. I'm holding down the floor. If you got Dorito a sound, die. Dorito yeah. sound. Yeah, <laughs> little Crunch, Dorito Crunch. is my walkie talkie name. Yeah, little, little, little Dorito, L I L D to Big R. Are you getting anything yet? Um, but I don't know. I think that's like. I think it takes a certain type of person to be willing to do that. And although it's easy to say that, I know when I've been in those experiences, I'm like, maybe I made the wrong life choice. Yeah, like, I'm like, I want to be there. I want to go do it. But I know once, like, when I would go ghost hunting, I'm like, I want to go ghost hunting. But once you enter that haunted space, you just have it in your head, like, this place is haunted. You kind of shake a little bit. Yeah. But I push myself. I'm like, no, you need to go stand into, you need to go stand in that room where they say, People get touched and they hear things by yourself in the dark. Do it. You have to do it. <sighs> really? Yeah, I don't know. So I don't I, know what it is. I don't. In my head, I'm just like, you have to do it. I, I have a tattoo that says, well, it's a carry quote, but it says, stay afraid, but do it anyway. And that's kind of like. So you're going to be our motivational speaker. I would speaker. be shitting my pants all the yeah. time if I had that motto. So, See, but I'm, I'm, I may be like crapping myself on the inside, but I'm there. Yeah. And then yeah. after, when I leave, I feel so much better about it. Where I'm like, yes, I did go and experience this thing. So you know? I'm, I'm not like so brave. I'm not going to pay for the ticket to Florida. I don't call that brave. You want me to it fuck with Roberto? <laughs> well, whatever you call it, I, I definitely would have to have the pep talk. Like Cameron would have to be like, no, you're doing it. And like push me into the room and lock the door. I will be I, the person that slaps you and goes, Lena, yeah, you are doing this. Bitch, get in that room. Get in there. As long as you're with me. Like I have security with other people being around mm -hmm. me, but when I have to do it by myself, there was a couple of times where I had to be in a dark haunted place alone and I was not having it. It was mm -hmm. not fun for me. And I know that it's not supposed to be a fun experience, but it took a lot yeah. for me to want to do it. Afterwards, I was, I definitely felt accomplished. I felt like, that was worth it, but it took a lot for me. Like willingly, I'm not going to be like, okay, let's. Do, this is going to be fun. I'm going to go do it by myself. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's. It's I don't not even like being in my kitchen in the dark when I eat cheese, <laughs> and I'm just like, like I, I can put one light on, but I'm still like, I don't know if this is worth it. So when we first started doing this, I was like, yeah, and you know, we're just going to go to haunted locations, and the whole time she's like. No, we're not. But no, I didn't. No, you I didn't, didn't sign up for that <laughs> this shit. Is, this was not in the disclaimer at no. the beginning. Um, but I think that those types of experiences, when you do have that one thing that happens to you, you're like, mm -hmm. okay, this is worth it. And once that one thing happens to you, you're more willing to kind of put yourself in those positions that are uncomfortable. Um, but before that, it's a lot harder. Mm -hmm. So I think I just live for that, that rush of after where you're like, that did just happen. Yeah. Type thing. That's what motivates me. Her face is not, it's still the same face as like episode number one <laughs> as she goes like, for no. the Doritos. Um, so <laughs> something to look forward to is us being in haunted locations and giving that footage of weird, creepy things that Ashley's going to be very uncomfortable with, but we're going to make her do anyway. I know. It's happening. And on that note, we are going to move on to creepy, creepy treats. treats. And I know Ashley is probably very excited about this portion because she's not going to be the partaking. one that's partaking. That's why I have my well, own bag of snacks. Wait, 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 wait. I never said you're not going to partake. Okay, I was going to no. say that's not I'm, that's not what the that, that wasn't that's not part what of this the agreement. viewers at home signed up for. I'm pretty sure they watched to watch you. They eat. didn't specify. Um, I'm going to have to clear the area because I don't over my coke. I'm going to put eaten this so much today. As she opens the giant bag of Doritos. I know. We have a tray of creepy treats. Hold on. I don't know what's going on here, but it looks like there's like a tampon it does. on the floor. It is what? And I've been staring at this whole time. I think it's the cord on the ground. Because it's <laughs> oh. This is well, in the, it looks like a tampon. It's a tampon. I'm distracting it's the Robert's people from tampon. me trying to lift this with one arm. I'm entertaining and I have, the people at home. I have noodles for arms and I have no strength. So <laughs> As the viewers very well know, creepy treats is a time where I put, put things in my mouth that I don't want in there. Make Ashley eat things she does not like to and eat. And I'm here to watch her eat stuff. Nope, but not she's today, eaten everything. Satan. So now it's she's eaten everything. I'm AJ's pretty sure she hasn't eaten yeah. anything. Yeah. And so I baked you cookies. <laughs> What's in these cookies? <laughs> They're delicious Flem. cookies. Um, we have a smorgasbord or a charcuterie. Char charcuterie? Char how do you say it? Mm -hmm. Or no, it's the other word. It starts Char with an A. Amuse-bouche? Amuse-bouche of bug things. That's French, what folks. is going on in here? Oh, you don't you want to You just know. open that up and you try it. 
Oh, I thought it was honey. And it's, I was like, nope, nope, it's not honey. It's another thing, but you should open it up and try it. I don't know how you feel about bugs. I didn't ask I, you before yeah. this. You, yeah, what? Um, I, <laughs> I literally started this episode by talking about how I don't. Oh, like bugs. Surprise. That is grasshoppers. No, but that's not how this game goes. <laughs> that's how this game goes. <laughs> the game See, goes. See, I'm not crazy. The game goes, we open. No, you can't just go to the good thing at mm. the beginning. Mm -mm. What are those made of? Crickets. Ashley knows. Crickets. 15 per cookie. 20. No. Yeah, I got a new package. Nice. I'll do good. that. I'll do that one's good. good. 20 crickets per cookie full of protein. But we also I like have these bowls. Are we just like drug goods. dealers at this point of like bugs? Because I feel like it's like, oh, like you want some of this candy. But I feel kids? like crickets and worms are the only thing that we eat because I eat Doritos. I, I feel like the company about. that you buy these from probably had like zero sales, and all of a sudden they just sales skyrocketed, <laughs> and they're just like, what is Hallelujah. going on? There's some girls on a couch. It's a bunch of guys cookies. who like live in their basement with capes, and they're like, "I'm gonna try the crickets too." Well, fun fact: the cricket cookies are delicious. They come pre-made with chocolate chips. All you have to add you is make these. No, I made them. Oh, but just put them in the microwave. I didn't like. I didn't ground up the crickets. Um, I didn't put them in the microwave. I baked them in the oven like a That's not domesticated. Actually, <laughs> well, you can make a cake in a cup in the microwave. So I don't know what's possible these days. <laughs> Those cookies were cooked in the oven and I didn't burn them. Last time I made them for Ashley, I burnt yeah, them. Yeah, and they were like pucks, but I still enjoyed <laughs> them. But this is what they're made of. Crickets, you should try one. I don't know if I can do a full cricket. You totally I might be can. Able to do a worm. But the cricket is the same. Like all the I'll legs do it are first. not appetizing. These are it's um, the texture. I'm so weird about textures. Me too. That's what I've been it's trying to tell you this whole lifetime. Salty. Close your eyes, eat it. It tastes like a Dorito. No, doesn't. I promise. I'm not a liar. I'm she's, an honest she's a liar. It's very vinegary. <laughs> Let's ask Baby Secret. Wait, why do I have to get a vinegary one? Wait, if we put one in Baby Aren't Secret's mouth, will it kind of chew it? Oh, so there's uh, salt and vinegar and cheddar See, cheese. you didn't even do the bacon and cheese oh, one for me. You did the salt bacon and vinegar. And fine. Jesus, You're so needy Horrible over host. here. Well, there's Jeez. so many, pa as she like, she's like, bleh. Oh, this one's open already. They might be a little stale. <laughs> Great. This is bacon and cheese flavored crickets. Also available on our Amazon Have list. Have you even eaten one of these before? Yes, she has. Yeah, I did. I, did I made her eat things. everything. She hated me I for like. You. I, I vaguely I remember putting one in a Starburst or something too, which oh, was yeah, not ideal. That. She usually would wrap them in taffy. The yeah. is, look at this little leg. Yeah, There's nothing there. That. So fun fact, the little ones that have a little thing coming out of their butt, that's a girl. And that's how they lay the eggs. In case you were wondering. This is the moment where I become vegetarian. I have to say that the salt and vinegar is better than the bacon and cheese. If you would like to <clears> change <throat> your mind, that is salt Make and sure vinegar. Make sure you have enough liquid. These are saltier, so they taste better. Oh, those are saltier? Yes. The bacon and cheese kind of tastes like I know, we're back air. To the, mm -hmm. Back to the devil's candy. Full disclosure, I didn't know if she was into bugs or not before this happened. I just assumed. I was like, I'm just going to make her do it. It's like you're eating um, a sunflower seed casing. With eyes. It's not bad though. It's not great though. I mean, we've eaten worse. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> I think now these ones you should try. This is Here a, we go. What is that? Down the this rabbit is hole, um, Chapulines, which is grasshopper in Espanol. And no, I've done my job. No, I don't think you did. I think you threw this it's on the carpet. It's 2020. No. Yeah, Here. Through, yeah. Teamwork makes the dream it. work. It's a Dorito. It's no. a, put it on a Dorito. I don't want it. It's like cheese and crackers. Come on. You can do it. It's like, it'll be so crunchy that you won't even notice. Oh, it almost went down your top. <laughs> she throws it in my camera. In your so, body. Afterward, wait, you didn't eat it. That I did, was, I just ate you're it. You're a liar. Don't lie to me. It's spicy. It tastes like chili. That's good. I want my Dorito though still. Yeah, buy that. It's so good. Like you're gonna love it. It'll this be your favorite thing. I don't appreciate how this one doesn't have its legs and stuff. They well, these one tortured no, this one as they it didn't, was dying. It was dead. They didn't Amputees torture it. are people too. Just treat it the same. These ones don't have anten antennas or legs or anything. I like them oh, without the legs. It smells like fish food. A little bit, but it doesn't taste like fish food. Game in Good three. Aim. 
I can't do it. You come on. Uh, you're a strong, <clears throat> independent woman who's going to eat that grasshopper. Yeah, none, no man in this room <laughs> is eating this shit. Yeah, yeah exactly. why do we have to prove ourselves? Cameron won't eat anything. He's yeah. like, no. Let's hear that crunchy, Jason. Give them some ASMR. They've been waiting a whole hour. Here it is. In your mouth. Oh, so sexy. Oh, so sexy. <laughs> what if we combined it with the sound of Doritos? Eat it. That grasshopper died now and you're just banned. smashing it. <laughs> this grasshopper getting, died for you, your <laughs> nutrition. Yeah, it's protein. It's so good for you. I just he ate sacrificed three. sacrificed himself for me. He did. He didn't know he was sacrificing himself, but he was His like, I have one. Over. Don't open the... <laughs> Crunch it. Love it. Tasty. Oh, it tastes like it tastes like what I would think fish food would taste like. Have you had fish food before? No, but like the taste. Like, you know when you smell something Meanwhile, and you're like, it's like, I bet that would taste like this. This tastes like lemon, lime. So this is dehydrated grasshoppers, um, ancho pepper, onion, vegetable oil, ionized salt, citric acid, lemon powder, garlic, and spices. That sounds like a healthy- it's very healthy. And it also has, um, hold on, 2.5 grams of protein, but you have to eat. But I feel like I could get 2.5 grams of protein from something that's not a cricket. Exactly. You have to eat a lot of them <laughs> to get that. But good for you for trying that. Um, so you had the, you want to try a worm? No, I've had. I think you should I'm, though. I'm very full. I've had two crickets you, by now. They're like air. Do you know how I ask you, but I really don't care what your answer is? <laughs> Would you like to try this? No? Okay, here you go. Oh, these are open as well. Ashley? What do you want from me? I'm done. These I'm ones are like- two crickets. You need these, at least a one. These are no. like nothing. No, these are I'm like a little not. Rice Krispie. I'll Venmo you $5 to not eat that. I don't, I don't, your Venmo isn't good here. Here. Mm. Put it on a oh, Dorito. No, it's soft. I don't want to look like a caterpillar. I oh, she doesn't like caterpillar. No. These ones are literal and nothing. PTSD. <laughs> this is barbecue. Literally, tastes like. No, they don't taste like really anything. No, they they kind of taste like air. Like air. Eat it. Love it. it. Like you can see. It has its little like. His little mm. arms. He has six little arms. He's trying to grab for his life back. Let's just He's give it dead. His He's life. dehydrated. No, I don't want it. I want to see you eat it. I don't. One thing. Nope. She, I um, want to see it in person. <laughs> she, I was promised. I'm pretty sure. Let me no, get the no text message. Yeah, no. I was promised Ashley would eat the bugs. No, there's no evidence. Nope. <laughs> hey, AJ, growing. come on over. Ashley will eat bugs. <laughs> Nope. I texted. I would her. show you, but it, it magic. It's only for my eyes. It's nope. your phone, iPhone <laughs> I don't glitching. Have to pee. I'm gonna be right back. I just can't. <laughs> It's gonna take me a long Beer time beat. to get out of this bodysuit. That one doesn't taste like much. I feel like she's hiding. She's doing a mad. She's like good at sleight it's of like hand. It's like coming out her nose and <laughs> oh, that one she, hurt my tongue. It's but it's not. I think it's little hands grab my yeah, tongue. Yeah, but it's not bad, right? It doesn't taste like anything, which doesn't bring me any. Doesn't spark any joy for me. So, but that's she's gonna follow my right heart now. and say I shouldn't eat anymore. No, but I feel like you don't realize it. But you just had. 5.7 grams of protein, <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe. 5.4. I don't think so. I'm, but I'm getting right now. I think this is this is the last thing. These are cricket protein bars. Oh, I and, hate protein bars. But they're good for you. I've just got that's two the thing grams. That's funny. Did you notice how I'm like, oh, crickets, whatever, protein bars? Ooh. Ooh. Yo, um, I, I just got two grams from eating 12 chips. That's, you're, no. Yep. You Read didn't it eat 12. Eat. 12 Doritos chips, two grams coming in of for protein, the win. and 150 calories. Well, did that's you eat what that protein for. bar? I did. I feel like it's taking all the moisture out of my mouth. <laughs> so, so we- It tastes like chalk. <laughs> the last mm. episode we filmed, we're like, oh, we're gonna get, we made cricket pancakes, which were- sucked. Cricket oh, cookies no, were, good. were delicious. Cricket pancakes were amazing. Cricket protein bars taste like shit. Mm -hmm. And I bought so many of them. I was like, oh, I'll just That's return bad. these on Amazon. And then I went to return them. Amazon was like, we these are ineligible them. for return. I was like, God like, damn no. it. What they do we know. do with these? Feed them to AJ. You can build a house with these. <laughs> they're basically bricks. But they're very good for you. I believe they have nine grams of protein. Those probably plug you I would up like for to see week. the science. I would like to see the papers telling me. I have a package. I think I might have made up nine grams, but I feel like they have more than any of the other things. 
but they taste real bad. They have like pieces of chocolate in it. Should. Um, that one is blue blueberry cheesecake and uh, sapple cinnamon. Sapple cinnamon, delicious. Neither of them taste. We love any. sapple. We love that. We live sapple. for it. Nine grams. Even the baby. chocolate doesn't taste. Good. It's not chocolate. It's blueberries. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's bad. It does have the effect of the chips, kind of, where it had like a chalky. We tried cricket <laughs> chips. Those were not good, except for when they were it's like you in exhaled guacamole. sawdust when you right. breathe. So all of the things, if you'd like to try them, we have an Amazon list. It's called "Let's Get Spooky." You can try all the bugs. If you love yeah, them, y'all aren't making any money put, from well, that Amazon affiliate the link because that's now an <laughs> we icon. Need add, we need Doritos because that's the only delicious thing that we're eating. I'm very upset that you guys didn't make me waffles or something with. Well, I would have gobbled craft the services, we, baby. I mean, I baked you cookies. I want some waffles. <laughs> Ooh, my stomach. I baked you cookies and I didn't burn them. I burned them for Ashley and I didn't burn them for you. I feel very special. They're, they they do get very hard though. Yeah. After a while, when I first made them, they were very gooey and delicious. And the chocolate was like oozy and great. They're fine. <laughs> that was a mediocre. They're good though, right? Mm -hmm. um, I think the brand is Chirps. So, <laughs> cause the crickets make chirp sounds. I'm glad that was the funniest thing that I've said the whole hour of this episode. <laughs> sponsor us. <laughs> now it's time for our sponsor. Chirps. Um, so with that, that will do it for this episode of Let's Get Spooky. Thanks so much, Fiends, for joining us. You can download all of our episodes and listen on iTunes and Spotify. You can also watch our videos at letsgetspooky.com. I'm Leanna Vamp. I'm AJ. And I'm Ashley. And thanks for watching. Let's get spooky. Bye. Stay spooky. Bye.